What's going on guys? Tactical Bacon here and welcome to another Loot Crate unboxing. Uh, really quickly before I get into the Loot Crate unboxing, I want to let you guys know that there is going to be a video coming out either later today or tomorrow, kind of explaining what's going on. Uh, but anyways, here is a new Loot Crate and this month's theme, or this month's theme rather, is Futuristic. So we're going to go ahead and uh, check this thing out. I do have a new knife to open these things with, uh, I just got this a few days ago. It's uh, actually pretty cool, I didn't really spend a whole lot on it so I don't expect the lifespan of the knife to be very long, but let's go ahead and cut this open anyways. Alright, so as you see when we open the box we have a nice interior design for the futuristic theme. Uh, and you can kind of see some of the stuff here. We're going to go ahead and start with this right here. It is a Mega Man figurine, I guess. Yeah, yeah, it's a figurine. There's uh, some images of the other ones, I guess, you could get, maybe. Uh, actually, no. With I think with the Loot Crate, it's it's only the one thing that they send out with every one. Or maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Uh, this is where this knife is going to come in handy, though. Just pry this thing open. There's some stickiness on the inside of this box here. Alright, and we can get this thing open. Oh, sweet. I don't know if this is an anti-static bag or why they would even put it in here, but there is a nice little slit here up at the top. I love those nice little slits. Uh, anyways, here is a Mega Man. Or actually, no, this is a Mega Man. Mega Man's blue. Uh, I'm not very familiar with the Mega Man franchise, I'm going to be honest with you, I was more of a Duck Hunt and Super Mario Brothers kind of guy. Uh, so if any of you guys know who that character is from Mega Man, then let me know. I'm sure it's on the box somewhere, but I just really don't care to read it right now. Um, but yeah, I'll probably end up putting that on my desk or maybe over here on my entertainment center once I put the TV back over here. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, let's go ahead and move on to the next item. It is one of the loot pits, and it's a uh, Star Trek theme. Don't don't pay attention to my phone going off in the background there. Uh, it is a Star Trek theme loot crate pen or a loot pen. Uh, these things are pretty cool. Um, haven't had much of an opportunity to wear my my Fallout bomb. This one's actually a bit sturdier than the Fallout bomb. It's a lot thicker and. Feels like the quality is a little bit better, but that's pretty cool. Uh, you got the little Vulcan hand, Leonard Nimoy, rest in peace. Um, there's a Futurama ship. Uh, let's go ahead and get to this, though, since we're on the subject of Star Trek. Don't know what this is. Is it like Star Trek The Next Generation Loot Crate exclusive wet naps or something? What the hell is in this? Uh... Okay, USS Enterprise, um, I'm not really sure what this is, is it a sticker? There's the protective film for the front, it's got a nice little reflect, reflective, uh, yeah, yeah, this is a sticker. Um, this might be kind of like that, uh, Terminator thing that I got in the last loot crate. Uh, where I don't know what to do with it really, um, but I think so far this is pretty much only they're the only item that I've found uh, that's that I really don't know what to do with. I, I was about to say that's worthless, but I'm sure I might find something to do with it in the future. Uh, go ahead and put everything here. Now let's go ahead and open this. Uh, this looks pretty interesting. I'm going to go ahead and pop this thing open and see what all we've got. Alright, apologies for the quick edit. Uh, the, the plastic uh, plastic sleeves that these things were in, or not, not plastic sleeves, but plastic holders that these things were in. Uh, it was kind of a pain in the ass to, and there goes that piece, but uh, it was, was kind of a pain in the ass to uh, open while trying to keep everything on the screen. Uh, the ship connects to the uh, top of the little bracket piece uh, magnetically, so that is pretty cool. The magnetic, or the, the magnetic, the magnet seems to uh, be pretty strong and uh, it seems to be holding the uh, ship in place fairly well. But look at that, that is fucking sweet. 
That is awesome. I, I'm a huge uh, fan of Futurama. Not so much of The Simpsons. I mean, I grew up on The Simpsons, but I don't know. It, it hasn't really been funny in a long time. But I am a big fan of Futurama, on the other hand. Uh, and that that ship is that ship is really really cool. Um, so let's see. We got the Mega Man thing. We got the Futurama ship. We got the sticker that I don't know if I'm ever going to use or not. And the loot pin. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, this is uh, this is from Valiant. They're a uh, comic book publisher. But let's go ahead and. You know, this is the little Loot Crate magazine thing where they show you a bunch of the stuff related to the theme of that month's crate. Um, let's see, the Mega Crate, which we will probably never win. Uh, if you guys want to check it out, I don't know if that's going to show up very well on YouTube or not. It's probably too blurry. Um, but yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, and then the uh, Valiant comic book, I guess this is another Loot Crate. Yep, it's another Loot Crate exclusive. And uh, I am a pretty big fan of comic books. Never really tried out Valiant, though. Uh, when it comes to comics, I mostly read Marvel with a little bit of DC sprinkled in here and there. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm not exactly sure uh, who is featured in this comic book. I have no idea who these Valiant char uh, characters are, um, but yeah, let me go ahead and take a look at some of the artwork, let me show you the cover here, let's see, writer, I've never heard of any of those people before, um, I mean, that, that, that doesn't necessarily mean that it's bad, I mean, the artwork actually looks pretty badass, uh, not too sure about the dinosaurs and everything in it, but I don't know, maybe it's a cool story, I'm sure I'll read through it. Uh, at some point, I'm actually my breeze through it today. I mean, it, it feels like it's a pretty thin comic, so I should be able to get through it just fine. But yes, last but certainly not least, like I said in the last Loot Crate unboxing, every uh, Loot Crate will have a t-shirt in it this year. And this is uh, the Rick and Morty t-shirt. Okay, not too shabby, not too shabby. Um, don't I've never watched Rick and Morty. If any of you guys uh, have ever watched Rick and Morty, hop into the comment section down below and tell me if it's worth watching. I mean, I, I know a little bit about it. I've just never actually seen it before, so yeah. Uh, but that's a pretty cool shirt. I don't know if that's stuff from the show. I'm going to assume that it is, or at least some something having to do with the show. I, I, I don't know. Uh, but I mean, it's definitely a t-shirt that I know that I'm going to wear. Uh, even though I'm not a, uh, a avid watcher of Rick and Morty. Alright, so there you have it, guys. That was the unboxing of the Loot Crate Futuristic Crate uh, for the month of July 2016. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, let me know in the comment section down below. Uh, what did you guys think? This, this is going to be my, my question that I pose to you guys. What did you guys think about the items? What was your favorite? Which item would you guys like to have? Not that I'm going to give it away, but anyways, I will catch you guys in the next one.